Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm inside of No Man's Sky. Why am I inside No Man's Sky? Well, hopefully, the next statue has unlocked a cottage. So let's leg on over, and let's go and see good old Johnny Five at the Quicksilver store. Well, how do there, Johnny Five? Picking it up. And yes, there's the Gag Eye statue, ready to be picked up for 500 of the Quicksilvers. So I picked that up. I'm going to head on down to my Quicksilver base. Well, I say Quicksilver base. It's my Dances on Ice base, people. Yeah, I'll see you down there. And okay, we're going to put my, my Dances on Ice base. Now, if I go under the sort of mushrooms over here at the end, I should be able to find my new statue, which is just there. Chikaboom. Make it a bit larger. Lovely. Rotate him around. Coolio. Go into the old build camera mode. Hmm, got quite a lot of junk on there, haven't I? One second, people. I just need to sneeze. Okay, sneeze done. I'm trying to place this as a bit odd. It's going to be slightly off the platform. It's going to be the same on this side, I would imagine. Yes, quite tedious. Tedious. Okay, uh, right -o. Um, we'll try and bring it in as close as we can, but it's getting close to this rail that's causing a slight hiccup. Now I can't see the way he's facing, so I'm just going to have to guess. There you go, you can kind of see his feet. So I think maybe like that. Chikapow. That's going to have to do. Alright, not perfect, not brilliant, but you know, it is what it is. You know what I could do? I could get another metal floor panel. Metal floor panel! And just stick it underneath him just to make it look a little bit more in keeping, I suppose. Why is that not... Oh, there we go. There we are. I'll put that there. I suppose I could even put another ice statue next to him, you know. Because well, we're going to run out of room anyway at some point. But there we go. Ice statue's down. Let's have a better look at this in the sunlight. Lovely. It's it's not bad. If you do want to come here, people, to play Dunces on Ice, there's the actual portal code in the bottom left corner there. But we're looking at the actual statue, and it is looking quite lovely. I mean, looks a little bit like something that I would 3D print, you know, that's gone massively wrong. There's no real deal with detail on the face or anything, but it is an ice statue. You can kind of tell that it's a gek. It kind of works, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not a massive fan of these ice statues, it has to be said. But then, I suppose for ice bases like this, it's actually not too bad at all, is it? You know, it does work for the ice bases. It works for the ice bases. I can't imagine people using them anywhere else, really, than on snow builds. But there we go. Oh, people, look, we've got some lovely ships taken off there in my camera mode. Pretty darn nice. Anyway, what else have I got for you? I've got some news, people. I have. I've got some news. One second. Let me, um, let me just take this off the screen, the actual game image, and uh, hopefully we will be able to show you. Chikabow! There we go. I'm over on the old Tinterwebs. So, I watch this community app the web app a lot or even the mobile phone app and you can see here the ice walker is currently at 16 percent unlocked people inside the view of us so hopefully you know 75 percent more time there or thereabouts uh, i will be delivering you yet another video or 25 percent i don't know i can't do maths this early in the morning people but yeah the ice walker statue i think is going to unlock very soon why do i think it's going to unlock very soon because we move on to the next expedition right now it's the 29th of december and it's just before i start work in the mornings but yeah um so at some point today on the 29th as you can see here, Voyagers is going to start. Now, I am planning to run Voyagers. Even though it's my worst of all of the expeditions to date, Voyagers was quite a challenge. It was quite difficult, people. And trying to find the creatures on it were a pain. I think a lot of people are going to struggle to get it even done before the 8th because some of the creatures in the last time of running it just didn't appear on the planets you would think they would be on. It was pretty difficult. So yeah, I'm going to hit it up and see how we get on. I might not even finish it by the 8th. It was a very frustrating expedition, to say the least, people. So the quicker you can get on voyages, the better, is what I can say to you. 
Now, a lot of people have been hitting me up and saying, Captain Steve, why are you covering Paleo Pines? It's a, it's, it's a child's game. Well, I do also play Pokemon and, you know, Tekken and stuff like that. There's a lot of games that you could say are more for kids. And even No Man's Sky is a Peggy 12. So, technically, around Christmas time, I don't think many adults get a chance to pick up or play any games of any kind. You know, and a lot of kids at Christmas pick up new games. You know, oh, Grandma's got me a new game. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's Paleo Bines. You know, so hopefully a few, I'm going to attract maybe a slightly younger demographic to my channel. And then after they've seen me play the likes of Paleo Pines and they see and they like my channel and they've subscribed and then I jump back onto No Man's Sky when there's some content, maybe they might go and pick that up as well. I mean, previous years, around Christmas, around this sort of time, I have played Bee Simulator in the past. I've played My Time at Porsche. I, I do like these colourful, more jazzy sort of games that are just a nice, relaxed, chill. And to be honest, I really like dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs in Paleo Pines remind me of the dinosaurs inside of Dragon Ball Z. And I'm a massive Dragon Ball Z fan. Other years, I've picked up Dragon Ball Z games around Christmas time. Christmas is a lull, okay? And I don't think many adults get, get the chance to actually pick up and play their games. Even if they've got new games for Christmas, Christmas is all about the younger generation isn't it really and making sure they're okay you're probably off work right now looking after kids that are out playing on their games or playing a game of some sort so you may even notice that other content creators out there inside the verse are picking up that sort of younger game like the i don't know fortnite lego or something like that or or journey to the forbidden planet previous year or something something a bit more colorful or something that appeals to the younger generation it helps build out a channel and it also helps them bring attraction to no man's sky once no man's sky gets the uptick in february because content creators jump back to there and they bring with them a newer audience so it is kind of that so i wouldn't worry too much when i'm doing paleo pines there is another game that i really want to bring to the channel it's called pal world and it should drop in january again it's cutesy graphics but you can see here it's pokemons with freaking machine guns mate machine guns rocket launchers all sorts of stuff Ah, how well delayed. Oh dear. Okay, pocket. I'm going to have to watch that. I'm going to have to watch that, people. Looks like it could have been delayed. So I might be playing, uh, you know, good old Paleo Pines for a little bit longer, which I did have a feeling. I did have a feeling that how well was going to get delayed. Yeah, they actually put out an announcement on their Twitter feed the other day, people, um, just before I bought Paleo Pines, to say that they've delayed their trailer. They didn't say they've delayed the actual release, but that would make sense. Dang it! That that sucks. All right, anyway, people, I'm going to be ending off anyways. But yeah, um, it's been lovely chatting to you. So there's a bit going on in the old No Man's Sky verse. There's a new statue to be unlocked. Go grab your new statue. And also Voyagers is about to start and I'm going to be hitting up Voyagers. I guess I will. So yeah, I, be I better go and upload my base again. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you this morning. I will be hitting up Voyagers. There is No Man's Sky content coming. But just be aware, I might be doing a little bit more Paleo Pines on my channel channel just for a bit and you know what sod it i'm actually enjoying the game i mean i saw the trailer and i thought oh that looks that looks pretty darn freaking majestic that and you know what i'm glad i picked it up it was only 25 quid 25 boys people out there inside of the universe which is a nice cheap little game a lot of people are saying why don't you try something like what was it? Pi. The uh, Eye of Pi. I don't know. Whatever. I saw Jason Plays play that one. And to be honest, it didn't overly appeal to me. Um, and also, it's bloody expensive. So, yeah, I just wanted to pick up something nice and cheap. Something a little bit more interesting. And something... If I'm going to be bringing Powell to the freaking channel anyway, which is quite a cartoony sort of game oh and also blue protocol blue protocol is another sort of very colorful sort of game but and i think it's going to appeal to a wide range of audience that one i can't wait for blue protocol power world's a bit of a weird one power world's a little bit of a gamble i'm gonna go watch that video now anyway people and um if it's newsworthy i might bring it to my channel as a cup of tea with captain steve in fact i might do that i might go and make myself a cup of tea and do a reaction video to it anyway goodbye goodbye and goodbye again